Hi there. Yes, you are going to get stuck. Hello everyone, my name is Dredden, and we are back in Seven Days to Die. So, right now we're just flying over the town here, and we'll just take a look. See? Uh, we need to kind of do a little bit of uh, heart prep, I think, today. So, uh, let's get to it. Alrighty guys, so it is kind of close to the evening, so I'm not quite sure what we're going to do. Boing! Um, but I think one of the things I want to do is try to figure out exactly how far these are apart. Because that kind of... Um, I've been thinking I do want to build a bridge across here. Probably this likely the best place to do it. Which would connect up to that room there. I'm guessing it's way too far though. One, two, three, four, five, six, fine, whatever. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21. I guess the fence is 22. Hmm. Let's see here. So 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh, seriously. 30? Um. That's okay, I guess. There's possibly, depending on if they've changed anything with the way building works, um, it's possible we might be able to build a bridge straight across. There might be a gap of a little bit. Uh, maybe two? Or the whole thing could collapse. Now, I, I don't know if this is just a dream that I should have or if it's something that I should try. I, I think I should try it. I just don't know if this is a good place to try it. This might be a little bit better. Yeah, this is definitely a better spot to do it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, uh, seventeen, eighteen. This is definitely a better spot to build it other, other than the fact that the actual physical support here is way lower. So that kind of sucks. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I definitely like this style of base because it allows you to be safe and shoot down. Though, like everything, you know, a little bit questionable what will work with the new zombie AI and how destructive they can be. Um, just not quite sure what the best options are there. Um, so yeah, we'll f kind of have to figure that out, I guess. So, yeah. One other thing I should probably do is try to break into a bunch of garages nearby, like that one and this one, and just to see where all the workbenches are, like if there's closer ones to me. Plus, there's usually, like, good stuff right close, so. Um, okay. So, yeah. I think, see, because you know, another option we can do, well, we make that street a little bit better and safer, uh, which we don't have any barbed wire on us, is we could um, make some of these streets a little bit better, too. Like, extend this out to like this house here uh, and make everything come this way it's all kind of questionable to me uh, thoughts and comments are always appreciated I thought that, that one just looked just a little bit weird okay great and there's another broken one there Alrighty, let's fix that up, because that is going to be important for Horde Knight. So, come on, you. Where's the sweet spot? <laughs> Why do they make their models so weird? Just put a bigger collider on it already. Okay. Um. Oh, that's not how we spell spikes at all. 
Let's uh, put this out. What is that I'm hearing? The weird raspy this. Hopefully it's nothing. Okay. Ah. Um Let's see here. Now, on the other hand, clearing out some of these other houses would be good too, because it just would be. So maybe let's do a little bit of this house uh, and see how things go. That um, because that could be another good option too. Clearing out like these three houses, of course, would just fit our street pretty well, um, which could also allow us to kind of run around these houses and get various places. We should also extend the defenses so that they go here, but they kind of just like extend a couple of meters down into these areas, plus this spot here too. So. Yeah, okay, anyways, those are sort of my battle plans, I guess, for <laughs> the Horde Knight. I'm a little bit worried with um, some of these resources and stuff, but that's all right. Um, we should definitely try to get some more levels, but of course, we're yammering out here. We're not getting anything done here. Um, yeah, here's that wonderful fall trap. Destroyed workbench, which I believe we, yeah, we've searched. Mm, we're going to need a lot more of these frames. Rims. Now the zombies should have um, come through here and wrecked a bunch of stuff for us. How are these not favorited? That's kind of weird. It's because I probably didn't favorite them on reloading everything. Okay, um, you. Uh, 20, sure, go. I think what I'll have to do is spend a little bit of time chopping down some trees so I can get some more spikes. Um, maybe take my pickaxe and destroy a bunch of these iron things. Mm -mm. On face. And we'll pull in there too. So, we're going to do this. Actually, another thing we can do. I think we can take this out. Yeah, 100. We're definitely taking that out. And... I'll put a couple of frames in here. It's actually kind of a waste. There. Craft a couple more. There. Better. Wait, I don't have to worry about this as much. Okay, yeah, this is just this house again. Um, repair. Thank you. About an hour. Um. That looks kind of sketchy. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's um. Eh, let's just get in here. I am. He's done. Ugh. Let's put ourselves in the corner. We have no possible way of getting out. There we go. Done and done. Use? Thought I was pretty high on water, but apparently not. Yeah, we're just gonna keep sort of working our way in here. I mean, the zombies have on Horde Knight broke through here already, so. I guess um, one thing we can do is actually go down here because this is sort of how this is supposed to work. You fall down that hole and work your way back out here. So, sit down. You do. Okay. They didn't sit. Ow. Knew that was going to happen. People keep on 
I'm mentioning it's not such a big deal that the Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to take you out. You. Stop that. And... There. Cleared the basement. We did the first part, we just did it in a weird order, so that's, I think, totally acceptable. Yay, level 28! Hey, we're almost able to get a workbench ourselves. That is really good. I think it'll be fun to do a total restart at some point. Um, and just see what we can do for getting our own re like, uh, levels up uh, much quicker. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Research that, of course. So just giving a bit of a listen, seeing what's outside. A little bit worried sometimes about that. Okay, just a bunch of boxes. So I, the one reason I don't feel like I really want to um, tackle this in the middle of the night is because I don't really have a lot of resources to spare. You know, like if I have what I've got on me, I've got to make this last on Horde Night, so that's kind of a tricky thing to do, right? Come here, you. Which makes things tough. We can probably do this room. And then I have to worry about more stuff. On the other hand, maybe we should be trying to build some stuff out here. Yeah. Look. Hi! Oh god. How many of them is that? Three of them. Well, we need to practice. Um, Alrighty. Because, gotta keep sharp for Horde Knight. Um, I don't think we really have the option on Horde Knight of... Uh, Hi there. Yes, you are going to get stuck. Oh crap, so low on stamina. Just take a breather. I'm right here. This thing standing right beside the light? That's me, guys. Damn it. That is the worst part about the stupid, uh... Oh, damn. I am really low on water. You have got to be beaten down. Nice. Did another one come out? Oh, man. This is not good. Out of stamina. So tired. <laughs> Why am I so tired? Use this. 94% water. So, yeah. Okay, let's see what we got. Yay. That's such amazing loot. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Da, 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 da. We'll get over the fact that we got some pretty crappy loot there pretty quick, I think. It's always, I think it's, I think all it is is like, when you get awesome stuff, and then they give you crap stuff, you just generally feel cheated. I think that's all that is. Okay, so. Right, so we do have the wall of chairs, which I could augment a little bit here. I mean, it's not really that useful uh, anymore. It's, it's really stopped being useful in uh, Alpha 16. Alpha 15, it was just broken, overpowered, but now it's not bad. I have to sort this out. It's a little bit 
insane. Um, let's wear that. Keep these two around because we're going to need more of them. These will be great for our workbench. Uh, we're going to be able to do that right away. And yeah, we don't really need much more. Rob, uh, we don't actually need to use this. Yeah, there we go. So let's see here. I did end up dying um, last night, was it? Out in the streets, kind of over that building, which is why I'm a little bit hesitant to fight them at night, but meh. I do have to get more used to it. Um, it's just that the uh, swing is just like, a, I don't know, <laughs> to nail them right on the head. And I guess it wouldn't be so bad if the normal swing was better, because just you kind of imagine it smashing straight down, but I don't know. It's a weird thing. Hopefully we can all adapt to it uh, soon. No, don't scrap that. No. Wow, you are a fast scrapper. Fine, that's fine. Take this. You have a spare. Okay. Sorry, I think I hear someone again. Lots of stuff I think I hear at night. Yeah, let's go up there, try to hack through some walls. I freaking hope there's no sleepers in this building. Again. Dude, you just ran like 10 feet. What is wrong with you? Like, seriously. Okay, cardio is at level 1. That's at level 1. Well, apparently I have 6 skills to spend with you guys. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Alrighty. Well, we need to get 2 of these plus one of those we have to we should try to save three but on the other hand we'll probably get a level or so on the uh night of like the horde night um and i do want to get more fighty once again so you know gotta keep up on that but as you saw, like, I just ran like 10 feet and just was like, <laughs> so I think increasing this up is probably a good one. So this is going to take level three. Eh. Well, that's okay, I guess. The charging bull would help. Parkour would help me as well because of you get yourself in sticky situations, you can, you know, get up on things and jump off things better. So that would be good, but yeah, I know you're cold. You're always cold. And yeah, we should definitely buy some of these. Unfortunately, we can't just invest in them right now. Ooh, we may end up wasting our skills. I also like this healing factor. It's quite good, but um, You know, I think I'd be willing to spend another point in this. And then I'll be able to buy this. I'm going to buy it now. Because it's really important. And I can't really buy... Or I can buy more of these. Player level 30. But the next level of this is at... Player level... Agility level 5. So, I may as well wait. Yeah. To get that guy. This, on the other hand, is really good for, you know, getting in there real quick and just doing the damage and then getting out. All right, we'll just poke our head in here a little noisily because if there's something in here I wanted to get me well whilst I am a little bit, um, yeah, there we go. You know, I kind of feel like I don't want to be surprised by anything, you know? There. Done. Now, if there is something up there that has a lower chance of getting us, at least from that angle, we're going to have to block up this stairway as well. There. Take that, jerks. And, yeah, so... 
I'm not quite sure how much of an expansion we want to do here. Um, it is pretty convenient to do this whole level right across here because it's uh, it allows us to get in and out pretty easily. I should just destroy this sink. I should wrench it apart. Uh, I probably will do that. But then, yes, if I can just run through here and hop out there, or even later on, run right through this wall and get over there, that would be kind of kind of good. Running through here would be useful. Let's close this. Do that. Hmm. Cabinet I have not searched yet. Just to kind of keep... No, let's um, do that instead. Make it hard for them to get up here. I have a better tool. I, you know, I have two better tools for this. I can kind of slow the path of the zombies. I'm going to do that instead. So, let's get this and grab this. make short work of the door. It's that one over there, isn't it? Because this goes this way. There. That feels safer. It's not that much safer. But this isn't too bad. Back to the old fire axe. Boom. Such a good tool for this. Bam. Okay. And we can run through there. Good. Get some cloth. Don't really want to waste the fire axe on that, considering how weak this stuff is. Done and done. Okay. So by going through here... Thought... Yeah, that was too far away from us. Okay. So we're going to break through here. Just take a quick look across the street. That seems to me like it's this window over here. Which would work fine, I think. Um, yeah, so we have 14. We're gonna have to get a lot of wood today. I almost feel like getting more wood is way more pressing than building this bridge structure today. Oh, well, maybe I'll just chop through here. The bridge thing is kind of a dream. Maybe we won't build it here. Maybe we'll build it in one of the cities or something. I do think it would be a good thing to try, though. Ah, right, well. Okay, anyway. Yeah, that works out pretty well. Um, and in the meantime, I guess we need to hack down some of these things here. So let's grab the wrench. If we still have a wrench, there's two wrenches. Good. Let's take out the marksman's rifle because it's probably the least useful. Um, I should really organize things a little bit better here. Uh, let me try to do that off camera for you guys. Put a bunch of these. Tools? Someone just died. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Um, somewhere else? Alrighty. Wrench, we got springs. And, oh, okay, that's cool. I didn't quite know that you had a chance of getting pipes from these beds. Not one thing I usually take apart. Um, that's good. Lots and lots of springs. Wow, makes sense. It's a mattress, right? Oof. Okay, so that's done. Get ourselves a little bit of resources. Take apart this old sink. What happens if you take apart the bathtubs? Okay, you. Wow, it's very, very hard to pull apart. Okay, yeah, this will allow us to flow right through uh, when we need to. 
Just give us a little bit more option for doing different things. There we go. Ah, this stupid thing. All right, you want to be like that, little thing? Let's take you apart. I'm encumbered. Smash. All right, what can we hide in here? Um, don't really want the faucet on me. The glass can go away, and same with the paper. It will just store it in there for now. Now I am so curious because I've never actually taken apart one of these yet. It seems like it's just a wood block. Okay. Seriously, it's just a wood block. That's a strange way to implement it. Or what? Okay, so it's a stone block. So was I... Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, it's not doing anything special with the wrench. Huh. Alright. So yeah, we knocked most of that one out because of some weird collision issue. Yeah, great. So that makes things nice and easy. We should maybe go out and um, harvest some things. Now the other couple options too is we could make everything here a little bit easier to flow through and or make it harder for the zombies to get up at us too. That's another important thing we really ought to do. So let's go down here. Do, do, do. See if anyone's gonna spawn on us. No, not today. That's nice. And um, just take these stairs out because I am a little bit curious as to how best to kind of accomplish all of this. And well, I guess we'll find out at some point. And considering I use this as one of my main bases, it's it's gotta happen anyway. And I think because the zombies can jump pretty high and they can also sort of stack up onto each other and jump high. Um, we're gonna have to take out a lot of the blocks, you know? Because of course they can stand here and then if someone, if there's a pile of them, they can jump on each other and they, they would just be able to run up there. So instantly you need to take out at least three. Um, I mean, this would be fine for sort of a standard bunch of zombies, maybe just like a couple, but really, hmm, the other option is we could build this into a wall. Would it be nice to have it a flow through through to the kitchen though? That's another interesting thought because if we make it so that they can just run through here, it might be good. On the other hand, it's a little more work because we need to take all this apart, so. And almost done. There. Well, that should be pretty hard for them to get up onto. I mean, maybe a spider zombie or every now and then might be able to do that, but should be pretty good for that. Um, sort of like I think the minimum we should do for Horde Knight. Now this tree is a, a fake tree, it's not real here, which kind of sucks. Not, not the sounds of zombies, just a weird sound in my ear. Um, so anyways, we're going to tack down some more trees so that we can have them ready. And that should be good. So I think I'm going to scrap down these things for now because I don't really need anything from them immediately. Um, I mean, a blunderbuss could be kind of an interesting thing to do, but... I don't think I really need it, considering I have Marksman's Rifle. Da, 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 nope. No, oh, good. So these trees, these uh, five trees here are IL planted. So they seem to be doing pretty well. That's good. And... This good source of wood here. These break down pretty quick. 
single easy shot? Oh yeah. That's not bad. Okay, frame, because apparently there's... We blew out one too many. There, don't want to get stuck in a hole. Great. Okay, so... We need to work on Horde Defense um, next time, and hopefully it could be Horde Night. Maybe do one episode between. We'll see how that all goes. All right, guys. So if you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button. And if you are new to the channel and like what you see, hit the subscribe button. If you want to support the channel even more, check out my Patreon. And I will see you in another video. Bye-bye.